Android TV sucks. My Android TV sucks. Your Android TV sucks. And everyone's Android TV sucks. But why is the Android TV experience so bad? The answer is simple. Most Android TVs just have bad specs. These are some of the popular Android TVs and all of these have low and quad core chipsets. For example, featuring Cortex A55 cores. To give you an idea, Cortex A55 cores are used as efficiency cores in chipsets like the Helio G85. These TV also have low RAM, low storage. And it's not just mid-range TVs, even the higher-end Android TVs don't have very good specs. So it's obviously not a surprise that Android TVs don't perform the best. Because the specs are just too low and I've always been an Android TV user and I've been tired of Android TV's issues. So you know what I fix things and I'm going to show you the steps you can take to do the same. So I'm going to show how to fix Android TV. How you can speed up performance on your Android TV. How you can get rid of the bloatware. How you can stop spammy recommendations. Now I am going to start with speeding up the performance because that's the biggest problem in Android TVs. So there are basically 4 Android TV settings that you need to change to boost up the performance. So number 1, the first thing you need to do on your Android TV is go to settings and enable developer option. It's the same process as on your Android phone. Device preference is about hit the build number multiple times. Keep hitting and it's done. Developer option is here. Now once you are in developer option, there are 4 settings that make a big impact. Trust me these are super useful. The first thing you need to do is scroll down in developer options and adjust the animation speed. So you can completely turn it off. Which does speed things but I prefer setting it to 0.5x. Because any UI without animations look a bit clunky and this also speed things up. Now I know this is something that we used to do on our Android phones years back but a lot of people don't know that this option is available in Android TVs. The next thing you should do is set the maximum number of open tasks in the background. So I've set it to 2 on my Android TV and it has been a lot more responsive than before. See there is no multitasking in Android TV and all of these TVs have low RAM so rather than many apps taking up RAM, slowing things down this will make sure that only two apps are using the RAM at most. Now this frees up a lot of RAM and yeah speeds things up. Number 3 another option in developer option that a lot of people say makes their Android TVs faster is use GPU for 2D rendering. Just enable this thing and start to feel more responsive. The next option to change is not in developer option, instead you will find it here in the settings. I am talking about usage diagnostic and location tracking. Turning this off makes the performance better because these services just keep running in the background taking up RAM and CPU resources. So yeah, turn this off, now all of these options combined to make the Android TV experience faster. You will notice that after changing these options, the scrolling is faster. App launches are quicker. Everything feels more responsive and smooth, so these steps definitely work and they should make your Android TV faster. Now do make sure to go to the Play Store settings and enable Do Not Auto Update app. This is important. I want to know how your Android TV experience has been. Like, comment down below. Also give the video a like if you agree with us on the whole Android TV debate. And yeah, share this video, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon and thanks for watching.